How are we doing everybody? This is That R Nerd, back at it again with another R tutorial. Uh, this tutorial today is going to cover simple linear regression and just a quick example for that. Um, I have some data, some cricket data that I'm going to read in. I'll leave a link down below if you want to follow along with uh, this exact same data set. Uh, but our first step here is we're going to want to read in our data. So read in our data. So I'll name it cricket. I'll say into cricket we're going to put a read.csv and let's see. There it is. This is what I have it saved under. Um, so just under my desktop and I, I saved it as cricket. Um, so you can run that code and uh, it's going to load, a, load read in our data I guess. Um, if we look at it, it gives us an x and a y. Our x variable in this case is the number of chirps per second, and then our, our y, what we're trying to predict, is the, the temperature that it's at. So those are our two variables there. So the first step, we're going to want to fit our linear model. And so we can do that, and so we'll make a new object here. I'll just call it cricket.lm uh, for our linear model. And then the, the code that you call is lm. And then you put your y with a little squiggle, um, x. So this is like saying y on x. We're trying to predict y from x. Um, or we're trying to see how y depends on x. Um, so that's, that's how you uh, do that. And then you have to say what your data is. Um, and our data is saved as cricket. Um, so if we run that, that's going to be, that's it. We, uh, we just fit our model there. If we want to take a look at our coefficients, then all we do is we actually just call coefficients. Coefficients. There we go, I think, of cricket.lm. So you, you type in coefficients. Um, and you put your, your model that you made. And if we run that, it tells us our, our intercept and our x. So if we were to put this in, in just a, a simple linear line, you'd say that our y, or our temperature, is equal to our intercept, so 25.23 plus 3.29 times whatever we decide x to be. And that's our, that's our regression equation right there. Um, you can look at different summary statistics. Summary statistics. And so a really popular one that you'd want to look at is R squared. And so to look at R squared, you type in summary. And we want the summary of our cricket linear model. And you put the dollar sign R dot squared. And if you run that code, it's going to give you your, your R squared value. Um, so our R squared for this one is 0.697. Um, you could also look at just the whole group of summary statistics altogether. And so if you typed in cricket.lm, it would print out all the different things here. So it gives you your, your residuals, the min, max, median, interquartile range there. Um, it gives you your coefficients. So it's going to be our estimate here. So again, our, uh, our intercept is 25 and our x is 3.29, which should be the same as it was from up here. So that's perfect. Gives you your standard errors and t, t values for these and, and probabilities. Um, so you can look and see if these are significant. Um, our x is uh, a lot below 0.05. So uh, I guess the, the crickets really do. Uh, there's a linear association within those. And down here it gives you your, your r squared. Perfect. So uh, with these, we sometimes want to make different predictions. You can just plug your whatever x in um, into that value and make predictions that way. Um, or there's another way. So we could say predict and make a confidence interval. Um, so we'll just make a new data here. And we'll say it's a data frame. So data.frame. We'll say that x is equal to 15. And so this data frame literally just has x is equal to 15 here, and that's it. And what we can do with this, we can do a predict. We could say predict cricket.lm, 
and we'll put in new data here. And so if we do that, that's going to give us our prediction. If we're hearing 15 uh, chirps per second, then our prediction for the temperature is going to be 74.59 degrees. You could also make a confidence interval for this prediction. And if you wanted to do that, you'd simply copy and paste this whole line here. And at the end, you just say that our interval is equal to confidence. And if you run that, it gives you your fit. So this is going to be the same as your prediction. And then it gives you a 95% confidence interval here. So we'd say we're 95% confident that our, our uh, the actual temperature is going to be between these, these two values here. All right, the last thing I want to cover here is if you want to do any plotting. So if we wanted to plot the residuals, uh, to do this, we could make another object here and we'd say we want the residuals of cricket.lm. And so if we call that, that's just going to give us a, a vector here, a list of all the different residuals. And if we plotted the residuals, we'd call the plot function, we'd say cricket dollar x. So that's going to give us, uh, it's going to plot all of the x values on the x-axis here. and if we do cricket.res, this is going to be our y, our y values. Um, so this is going to print the cricket dot, our cricket residuals on the on the y axis here. And so we could make a couple of labels here if we want. So y y lab is going to give us the label for the y. Um, so we could say residuals, and we could make an x label axis or an x a label for the x axis, and we could say something like chirps per second and if we run that that gives us uh, all our different residuals plotted out and you could do a b line zero zero and that would just put a line here in the middle and so you can see how far above and below these these different residuals are uh, most of the time though we we're going to want standardized residuals um, so for that you would do cricket. So we'll make one more new object here. Cricket.std, we'll call it for, for standardized residuals. And you'd call the R standard of our linear model that we made. So cricket.lm. And so if we do that, it's going to give us all our, our standardized residuals right there. Um, and then you could call pretty much the same code here. So you can just copy and paste it down. Um, and cricket.x is the same, or cricket dollar x. Uh, the difference is we're going to want to look at our standardized residuals, and we could change the y label axis to uh, standardized residuals. And uh, now we have a, a plot of our standardized residuals on there, oh, which is something similar to uh, to what SAS would give you. Uh, the last thing here is sometimes we want to check normality with a, a QQ plot um, where this is just the the line that goes bottom left to top right I'm spacing on what those are called right now um, but anyways let's just plot one and see how it looks so for this one we call the function QQ norm and inside of this we'd put our cricket with our standardized residuals here make some labels so we'll say standardized residuals. And we could label our, our x-axis here. So x la x lab. And we'll say our our normal scores. And we could throw a QQ. Oh, we don't want this inside the parentheses here. We could throw in a QQ line of our cricket standardized residuals here. And so away we go. Uh, diagonal, that's, that's the word for it. Um, so this plots out a, a diagonal line here. And if these are relatively in a straight line, then our data is, is pretty much normal. And this QQ line is gonna just plot a, a diagonal line here. And so this data looks pretty good, looks pretty, pretty close to normal. 
Um, anyways, hopefully this video was of some help to you. Um, if you enjoyed or learned anything, make sure to slap a linear regression onto that like button down there um, so that other people can find this video. If you want to find more R tutorials, make sure to subscribe. If you have any suggestions for, for future tutorials that you want to see, uh, make sure to leave a comment below and I will try to make a video about it. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.